here in Eugene on the campus of the University of Oregon, more specifically, Track Town Plaza at Haywood Field for the U.S. Olympic Track and Field Trials. It's the fifth time it's been held here in Eugene. Welcome everybody, I'm Ken Ackerman. You're watching Comcast Newsmakers. A big reason it is here is Vin Lanana, track coach at the University of Oregon, who is the co-chair. Vin, thank you very much for being with us. What does it take to bring an event with this prestige and as big as this is to a community of 140,000 people? It takes a whole bunch of people. It takes 1,800 volunteers and a steering committee of 17 and 30 different committees to work on uh, bringing track, right, making the Olympic trials come to Track Town USA. You know, Track Town is a moniker, a self-proclaimed moniker, yet th there couldn't be a community elsewhere in the country that could actually call itself that because this is it when you talk about track and field. Track Town USA has been something that this community has been calling itself. And the last seven years, we've tried to make sure that everybody refers to us as Track Down USA. Well, you've got Hayward, you've got Bowerman. How does a guy like Lenana uh, <laughs> enter a job uh, with all the history and, and the lore behind it? Did you have butterflies? Did you have second thoughts? Or was this what you wanted? Well, I think the, the deal is that you had Bill Hayward, Bill Bowerman, Bill Dellinger. I thought I was going to have to change my name <laughs> to Bill. before getting here. I thought I was going to have to be called Bill. but. Um, you know, they've accepted the name Vin, and um, you know, it's, it's been fun. I think they refer to me as coach, and it makes it easy. Now, has it been everything you, you thought it would be? Um, because you, you're coming from Oberlin College, Stanford, to University of Oregon. What were your preconceptions, and, and how's it been for you? Well, you know, anyone who's grown up in the sport of track and field knows Hayward Field, knows Tracktown USA, knows Eugene knows the passion, the enthusiasm, the excitement for track and field. So I certainly come in here with open eyes and um, it's been everything I've hoped it would be. So events like this and the legend of, of the coaches and athletes, that's gotta be a little bit of help when it comes to recruiting. Well, I think that when you, I think that every high school kid dreams about competing at Hayward Field and they somehow connect a magic that happens when you're competing on that track and uh, it's nice to be somebody who uh, who can roll that out in the process. Isn't it nice when when you have an event like this and something special happens like Steve Prefontaine's record being broken? Uh, you know, Galen Rupp last night in that 5,000 he certainly will go down as one of the best that Oregon's ever had and that's pretty impressive when you think of the distance runners we've had with Salazar and Chapa and Pre. I mean, those are pretty impressive performances, and um, don't forget about Ashton Eaton setting the world record here. Now, I was talking about Ashton Eaton. We're going to be talking with Dan O'Brien later on coming up, but uh, t t tell me a little bit about Ashton Eaton. I mean, seven of the ten events in the decathlon, he just outright wins? You know, <clears throat> for me, to, there, there are not enough superlatives for me to speak specifically to Ashton Eaton. I mean, grew up in Lapine, Oregon. Uh, came here having, having not done a decathlon, only having done the long jump, the hurdles, and the 400. Comes in, learns the other events, not only does he learn them, but masters them, and then sets a decathlon 100 meter world record and a long jump, 27 feet. That's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. um, who, who do we have coming up in the, uh, in the works? I mean, give me some names of people we're gonna hear about uh, through the program at the University of Oregon. Well, I think that uh, if you look at the accomplishments that a young sprinter named English Gardner has done this year, I mean, she wins the NCAAs both indoors and outdoors. Take a look at Mike Berry, who wins a gold medal at the uh, World Championship uh, this last year on the relay. Um, you take a guy that just graduated, Matthew Sentowitz, who wins a bronze medal at the World Championships. I think that the name of Oregon and the University of Oregon and Hayward Field and the Oregon Track Club and all the things that are rolled into one have really uh, tilted our momentum towards this whole track town USA. From what I understand, attendance couldn't be better. We had 22,209 people in Hayward Field. I didn't think we could fit <laughs> that number of people. Then we had another 6,000 people out in this festival. Absolutely fantastic. Vin Lanana, thank you very much for taking time out of your day. We appreciate it. I want to thank you for being here as well on Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.